Good morning. Uh, it is pretty early in the morning and it is a pretty grey morning, so it's kind of dark outside. But uh, I am heading out to go onto that course today. We'll see um, if I dare to ask the owner of the um, kind of um, craft store that I w where I'm going to, if I can film a little, maybe you can see where I took the course. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's the two first parts of a Copic certification. So um, you have to be able to finish, I think, four course courses and then uh, you have a bigger test, if I remember what they wrote on, the paper, uh, on, the po on their post. So today is base and advanced. Um, they recommend that you go at least one month between uh, from base and advanced to special one and two. So I uh, will see uh, how it will be. It's gonna be fun to go to to proper craft store. We only have like those big box ones and they have so little material and they don't have um, kind of the cool like lawn fawn and, and cool stamps. Um, I think I saw, I just went into their web page, just a short little short while uh, just to look up like addresses and stuff and I saw on their front page that I had a couple of stamps that stamp companies that I only have been able to get uh, ordering from uh, abroad and that can be expensive sometimes so it's going to be fun to to look into that and, and see what's what the day will bring um, I'm exhausted but I'm very 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 excited to do this so Good morning guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Well guys, I have had my Copic course. Uh, I couldn't really record in the store because we weren't in the store. We were in like a conference room um, in the same building. And then I had like five minutes to kind of run through the store and buy things because uh, Christopher was waiting outside of the car, you know. Yeah, I had to hurry. So I did go get some stamps, but I couldn't really record inside the store. I had an amazing time. It was wonderful. Um, I learned a lot, and uh, I'm really looking forward to the next coming two courses um, because it's even more fun. Yeah, I want to be certified. I want to be copy certified. That is what I want to do. There's a European uh, certification and there's an American certification. Uh, I'm doing the European as I'm in Sweden. Um, so it's called ECCP, uh, European Coloring, European Copic Coloring uh, Program. And it has a couple of courses and then it has a uh, certification um, part of it. Right now we are driving uh, back home. We have been on the road for about two hours, two and a half maybe, about two and a half hours. So we have about two and a half, three hours left and then we're home. So it's going to be a pretty late evening but I actually took tomorrow off. So I have a whole day to just sleep in and relax. We're gonna go back to our driving and um, I'll see you later.
So, uh, the footage you just saw that I put music on because it was so windy, so I couldn't really talk to you. So I kind of chose not to. Uh, it's from uh, Laxå, a place in Sweden. It's uh, basically there's a very nice um, uh, at the road. There's a whole bunch of different places you can uh, stay to go to the bathroom and stuff like that. Uh, sit and have a picnic and there's a whole bunch of them going on um, on the whole road and this is one of them and it was you just went on a little walk at the side of it and you came to this place where, where you saw the building and everything it's kind of cool actually pretty pretty cool so yeah that's our little adventure now we're heading on to get something to eat guys we are finally home um as we stopped to eat just after i shut that we actually stopped to eat uh we didn't know that they had they had a subway on the way uh, it was like two minutes after we stopped to take a rest we found a subway and we decided we're gonna eat there it was actually quite a nice one even though it's on the motorway and everything um and then we just came home and we have packed up. We actually have 29 new kitty toys. Uh, we love having like feathers on sticks for the kitties. You wave them around, they're usually on like a string and then a feather. I think I played with one of those in one of my videos. Um, well, when we were down at Christopher's parents last time, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we found these with a ball and a little feather on it and the string is elastic really nice ones and they they were like a dollar really just a dollar and the feather ones we usually have is like 14 or 15 dollars so uh, we thought these was these were amazing and when we were there there was like three of them and Christopher parents have been looking going into this store because it's like a dollar store and they get new new things in all the time and they don't have the same things it's like they pick up um, a couple here a couple there and now when they went in they had a lot of them so they bought 29 of those stick thingies with feathers and balls so we have a lot of those now uh, they do break after a while because they are a little bit cheaper but then again the feather ones the kitties do chew on the feathers a little bit so they do break too so these actually, it, it turns out to be pretty good, pretty awesome. And I think they have a, like a little bell thingy in the ball too, so it sounds a little bit when you wave it around. I feel like a, a fairy or something, a fairy godmother waving my little wand around when I'm playing with the kitties, which is kind of fun. Well, uh, I had, I just had such a great day. I'm exhausted and I'm going to head to bed now, but I'm... A very happy person at least so good night sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite bye